Saturday, Georgia high school football teams will hit the gridiron for their first padded practices in what has been an eventful offseason. Uh, News for Jack Sports reporter Jamal St. Cyr explains how the sports officials have been tracking COVID-19 cases since June. This week as high school football teams in Georgia put on the pads and head back out to the football field, the GHSA has announced that 655 athletes across the state have all tested positive for COVID-19 since workouts began back on June 8th. In a statement from GHSA Executive Director Dr. Robin Hines, he said, quote, put into context, we currently have over 300,000 eligible students. Each school has an infectious disease plan to manage each situation. Every district or school has different circumstances, which makes local control essential. End quote. In Camden County, Wildcats head coach Bob Schweier says he thinks the GHSA has done a good job and football can be played safely this season. Coach said he recently had to deal with some of his players being exposed to COVID-19. I know Jamal in our situation, you know, we had a situation come up. Within 24 hours, we had 44 kids that we thought had had any exposure tested within 24 hours. Within three days, we had the test results back. And so all those kids who tested negative were able to come back. Anybody who tested positive had to go through a 10-day waiting period get reevaluated by, by the medical professionals before they could return. We're all going to go through that. It's just going to be the nature of what it's going to be. But, but for the sake of the kids that are out there working, we just got to play on. Right now here in Georgia, the first high school football games of the year are scheduled to be played the week of September 4th. In Camden County, I'm Jamal Saints here for Channel 4, the local station.